Lucas and I'm Jacob. Hey, welcome back to the pod, hoes. I know, welcome back. Hello, it's me, Jacob, and my brother, Wait, Lucas. is the camera... What? Oh, shit, we don't have it on auto. Oh, let's keep this in, though. It makes it better. Yeah, it's like the camera's so dark. A lot of technical difficulties. Even we struggle with technical difficulties. Okay, Jake was fixing the camera right now. Oh, perfect. It's all good. Oh, and... Now it's good. I'm just such like um a cameraman. Like Lucas provides the talent, and then I'm just here like to like yeah. fix everything. He's the cameraman. Also, if you're watching the video, <laughs> I have a leopard pillow on my lap, and it looks like I'm not wearing pants. I was wondering like Maybe if you I'm were not. trying to cover something. Like I don't know oh, what, yeah. but like if you were naked under that or what? Oh my god, Tiger King. Has oh, have you yeah. guys watched Tiger? If you haven't watched Tiger King on Netflix, it's a. I'm only on episode three, but it's a roller coaster of emotions. There's gays who own tigers who straight guys marry them allegedly in exchange for drugs hopefully this I've isn't gotten... offensive say it can i say it just I say it even, let's I offend everyone okay so joe exotic in tiger I know, his name's joe exotic too yeah. which is so cool <laughs> okay but it's not right know. when he does to animals <laughs> i don't know if this is offensive but he reminds me so much of jeffree style they have the same to oh me, my god, I don't this find out at all. Bad. This might be mean, but for some reason, tell me if you agree with me. Um, so I watched the first three episodes, but then since I'm Loki just a wimp, um, I got too scared, so I'm not gonna watch the rest. Wait, what happened? That was scary. Just like, okay, she, people she, because, dying like, because she killed her husband. husband. Yeah, I don't want to watch it. Anymore. Oh yeah, but you love it. I mean, I'm only on episode three, but and also during episode two, I don't watch. I just realized, so I missed so much of the story. <laughs> You didn't watch episode two? Because I was editing a video and while well, Matthew was watching it? No. I so missed all of episode two. It was like 11 o'clock at night and I was already just like dark out. It's dark out, so it's kind of scary. But they were talking about just like creepy stuff about her saying like she, he, she, she wanted to kill him. Somehow that's not scary. Like it doesn't... Cause it, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like... I guess I, obviously I under- that is, that's so scary, but like it's not like... I, I don't know. I feel like it's not scary enough that I have to stop watching. Oh, yeah, like, it isn't that So, basically, scary. you're a pussy. I'm <laughs> just kidding. if you're married to someone, like, most likely they won't kill you. Yeah, and if they do, I mean, sometimes they feed you to their tigers, you know? Yeah, that, it happens. Oh, my God, I saw a photo on Twitter. I don't know how people dig up these photos. Carol from the Tiger King documentary was sitting next to Britney Spears at the 2002 VMAs. <laughs> Because, Are you joking? How? Because her husband was alive back then, and one of his tigers was on stage with her during "I'm a Slave for You." <gasps> so, also, like, at least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But you know, how she's she's supposed to be the good one in the documentary. So, basically, if you guys don't know, the documentary is about Joe Exotic owns these tigers. With, and people are saying like it's really bad that they're like in these cages and it's wrong. And then this girl named Carol has a tiger sanctuary where she rescues the tigers. But then, like as you watch it, like you sort of realize that maybe her corporation isn't as innocent as they sound and like they aren't paying anyone and like she also just like wants money from people visiting the tigers yeah and it's such a crazy show because like you watch the first episode or the first 10 minutes of the first episode and you're like so it's about tigers who are who are like might be getting abused but then it goes into like there's this other person in West Virginia, like Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. what was his? I feel like I didn't pay attention during those parts. So like he, oh, isn't he, he have like he had goals that were working for him, but he paid them nothing. Oh, so. and like basically at these tiger places, like you just don't have any time off. You work from sun up to sundown. Yeah, and like he forced them to get boob jobs and stuff. Like Joe Exotic, for example. Like I guess how he finds his new workers is he like he finds homeless people. Or people who just got homeless, and he's like, I'll help you like get back on your feet. And they're like, oh my god, what an amazing opportunity. And they go to the tiger farm, and there's just like no way out. And they just work sun up to sundown. Yeah. For only like $100 a week or something. So that's what's so crazy, cause, because when you see those little tigers, like, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I want one. But then yeah. you realize like, I just it's don't so understand bad. how Netflix um does this because when I'm watching it, like I know it's a documentary, but it seems like a scripted show to me. I know how because do they of how make they it, like get the, all the information. I'm just like, how is this story real? You know what I mean? There's just so much stuff happening, and then it weirded me out when like 
people trying to kill each other and stuff. Like, well, well, well so what like, did I miss supposedly? out on? By the way, spoilers. Fast forward like four minutes if you. Oh don't yeah, so know. I. What went... did I miss out on? All I know so far is that Carol might have killed her ex-husband. Did Joe Exotic kill anyone? But then he wants to kill Carol, maybe right? Oh yeah, and then I uh, I'm trying to think of like what else happened. There was some other scary stuff like. Oh, Joe Exotic. Oh, like one of his. This is episode four, actually, but one of his like buildings burned down, and then I guess he might have burned it down on purpose. I don't with people in it. No, like just with like t- I think tigers were in it. Oh, like what? a studio something. I don't really. Um, I just oh stopped, my god! Because I, I stopped watching it, but I watched. I was watching when mom was watching because I was oh, like, yeah. might as well. And basically, um, we know Joe Exotic did horrible things besides just mistreating the tigers, like because he's in prison right now. Yeah. So I think he's pretty sure he tries to murder someone eventually. So is he the only one in prison right now, or are the other two in prison? I don't. Because... I think he's the only one. But I also saw Netflix said that like they're hardcore working on season two because like the story's not even kind mm-hmm. of done. For real? Yeah. So what I was but what wondering... I feel, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just wondering because in the documentary, there's so many clips of Joe Exotic saying, like, um, I want to... Like, he was basically saying, like, I want that... Kale, is that what her name is? Yeah. I want her to die. So, um... I'm assuming, what, like, he tries to... Is that to... illegal? Like, is that illegal for someone to say, I want you to die? Because that's scary if that I isn't don't illegal. No, I mean, I think it's illegal, but, like, you could be joking. Oh, well, oh, yeah, but I guess he just wanted so serious. So yeah, scary. I don't know. Because remember on the Real scary. Housewives um, <laughs> on of Orange <laughs> County, when they got the, these two housewives got in a fight, and one of them said, I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, she didn't go to jail. Yeah, like, I guess if I think about, like, when I was... Doesn't really happen anymore, but like when I was seven, when I got mad at my siblings, I said, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea what's going on because I only watched two of the three episodes, but um, I'm excited to see and scared. I'm scared and excited. What's season two gonna be? I don't know. All I know is that from looking at Twitter, Cardi B's on Joe Exotic's side. And she's starting to start a GoFundMe to get him out of prison. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, <laughs> like, what if this documentary is, like, only showing pout of the I bad stuff? I feel so bad for Carol because imagine, I mean, maybe she did kill her husband, but imagine she's innocent, didn't kill her husband, and now everyone just thinks she killed her husband. And she's, like, has to, she's so sad her husband died, and now everyone just thinks she killed him. I know that would suck for her. And the I other know. thing about Kayla is that when you listen to her talk, she talks exactly like Hillary Clinton. And she like She does have very strong Hillary Clinton vibes. When she talks, it sounds exact I reminds me of like when she was like doing the I think it's because um, they look the same. Thing. Oh yeah, they both have blonde hair, like kind of. Did you see the part where Joe Exotic made a music video? Joe Exotic's also a country singer. That makes it better. He made a music video and had a Carol lookalike and like had Carol feeding her husband to the tigers yeah, in the video. Yeah, I saw that pal. And he also has like an internet show. I know. That's so it's funny. So he funny. gives you Jeffrey Star vibes. I, that didn't cross my mind. So I, I thought you were going to say like Billy Ray Cyrus or something. So what I mean by that is I think they give me the same vibe because not saying Jeffrey Star is like scary, but I'm saying like they both have like boss, cult leader. Like yeah, like I picture like Jeffrey Star to like to like just like make the money and Joe Exotic yeah. makes the money. Like like they find ways to make large amounts of money and. Like Jeffrey Star, for example, why. like at his makeup factory, probably people work from sun up to sundown, and they have to <laughs> they have to sleep there too. This is real. I'm joking. We don't even know. If but that no, that's a joke. Um, let me see. But yeah, I'm not gonna finish watching it, but um, but I still want to know what happened, so I'm just gonna read about it because I just don't. Yeah, wanna... no, I actually didn't want to start it at first because like I was like, is this gonna be creepy? Like I don't want to hear about like, but it it seems like so far what I've seen like isn't so much about like murder but obviously that's gonna it's gonna be about that yeah it just it gets like really like it's not it's not even about tigers in it at this point yeah i guess it's really bad to have tigers in um captivity because they in the wild they need like seven square miles to run yeah and then i don't get i think how, it's even more than that actually this documentary made me think that like if if it's legal to get those what if some people let them free and you're on a run one day and a lion chases after you. Like, if that about that... Well, that was, in, that was in the documentary where sometimes, like, people... They were saying people in America were starting to realize that yeah, people own these creepy animals because... Kind of glazed over didn't, that. Didn't, like, a lion escape somewhere? Yeah, a lion escaped, like, this random person that had lions. And then what if a snake was just slithering a boa constrictor and then it wraps around your neck and you die? That That's scary. <laughs> but I, I knew someone who... um Someone who worked on the Fred movie... Um, 
was part of like this tiger, not the Tiger King, oh, but yeah. he was part of like a California one. I like wanted to mention that um, you were part of the abuse, but I was like, no, I won't mention that. <laughs> oh, you yeah, were part I, of the I, abuse. I, just, I didn't own the factory. I know, I know. Like, <laughs> like I wanted to say as a joke, you just saw a little tiger. So you yeah, I, I've, I've held a snow leopard. So th- that's so weird that it's kind of snow leopard, but they... Obviously, they're meant to be in this. Or maybe it was a like, white tiger. It was so. You showed me the picture. But like, I remember. Like, yeah, he just he brought it to set one day, and like my grandma took a photo with it. I did, and it was just this little baby thing. It was so cute. But like, obviously, now watching Tiger King, they say that that's like horrible to do. But I guess cute. you live and you learn, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I would have took a photo with it too because it looked cute. If I didn't know, like yeah. I, even if I yeah, it happens. But yeah, he, <laughs> his brother owns like a tiger thing. So lots of tigers or how does that work? I don't know. He owns like a tiger thing in like either Nevada or California. Oh. But I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. He has like photos of them with like full grown tigers. I'd be like so scared being around that. I know. That is, that's in, terrifying. And in, in the tiger thing, tiger king documentary, it showed them walking on the cages and like they didn't even have leashes on and it. And and it didn't, scared me. And then sometimes they interviewed people who didn't have legs and stuff. So I was like, is that from the tiger? Yeah, someone got their arm bit off at Joe Exotic's place. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe Exotic. It just sounds like we're talking some, about some, like, pop style or something. I just, like, I feel like it's, I I feel so, I feel like I can't even speak on the documentary because I'm only halfway through. Because, like, what if it it turns out, like, everything we're saying is wrong, you know? Yeah, but then if, again, like, Cardi B saying she's on Joe Exotic side, like, gives me hope that. I know, like... Maybe I can buy his country album. Because the thing about Joe Exotic <laughs> is that if he is a bad person, then, like, that's bad. But, but he's obviously a bad person because he makes people worry. He's kind of, like, has slaves at his <laughs> But thing. I want him to be a good person <laughs> because he's so cool. Like, everything that everything that I see think is... Like, he makes music and he's does, <laughs> does like, these green screen Oh, yeah, YouTube he has, like, videos. his own TV show. <laughs> it just seems cool, but I, he does bad things, though. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you stand him. <laughs> um... <laughs> Somebody sent us an email saying, you guys should listen to a really sad song and just pretend you're in a music video and vibe. Can I you imagine that if that the was time. the full podcast? Oh my gosh, just play Born to Die from start to finish and the whole time we're just like acting like we're in the music video. Oh, that would be the best. That is the best feeling though. And like you're listening to like a sad song and you're just like, feel like you're in a music video. Yeah, so it happens when like, when like you listen to like, to a sad song and it's about like, it's about like waking up with someone even like, you, <laughs> like, like, even though you've never been through a serious breakup, you still act like... I know. I, know. I think that's With why Lana Del Rey is so popular. Because it's so fun yeah, to like, act like... If you're actually really sad listening to her, I'm sure it wouldn't be fun. But if like you're happy listening to her and just pretend to be sad for a bit, I feel like that's why she has so many fans. Yeah, just for four minutes, you know? Yeah, just be like, we were born and die. And just act like your boyfriend's <laughs> addicted to drugs. Oh, yeah. Such oh, a yeah. vibe. <laughs> Such a vibe. <laughs> I know. Did she? Do you think she's actually all of her boyfriends have been coke addicts? I wonder that because 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 in her new album in the song Cinnamon Girl she's like you take all these pills, but I, I actually yeah I want to know if her but then again, boyfriends do, do it's drugs. all it's confirmed it's all a character either that or she's grown because her latest boyfriend was a cop he's and not I don't, a cops don't do coke right and he had like he was like fit and healthy so yeah I don't think he would do the drugs oh yeah pills pillies. Pop the pillies. But um, yeah, I still want to be a groupie. I'm joking. <laughs> Lana Del Rey <laughs> ma- wa- made a million people want to be a groupie. Oh, yeah. To become groupie in love. <laughs> groupie in love. <laughs> Do you think groupies are still a thing? Like, like Yeah, for sure. That People like um say they go to like... Mul- Isn't it sure you follow a band around the USA? You, 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 people are still... Like, <laughs> so still you do it? <laughs> no, it's like, still a thing. Not to not you. Um, I think so. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, if you're a groupie, let us know. I know, and like... Our little sister was kind of a groupie to One Direction. <laughs> oh, she... Yeah, she wanted to. She, she went to been. like two concerts on their tour. That's true, That's yeah. like probably the biggest groupie that I know of. Yeah, that's the biggest... Ever- no, I haven't. Why isn't there a documentary about groupies that I know about? Oh my least? god, Netflix, that should be the new one. I know, and just... And just- Lana Del Rey sings the soundtrack. Just a lighthearted groupie documentary. Yeah, and it doesn't. I, I don't know if it's sad or what, but it can be happy if it's. A yeah, happy they can even life. just be like, yeah, it's just a good life being a groupie. Yeah, it can literally just be a five minute documentary saying, so I just sit here and we have sex once a night. Like, it's not really <laughs> anything cool. <laughs> so, the main, what's the main purpose of this podcast? Oh, the main purpose is, um, well, 
yo movie fred the movie yeah is 10 years later we're doing an in-depth interview because it's blowing up because um <laughs> it's on youtube youtube has this thing where like you can watch movies free with ads yeah and i that, guess on the fred movies you can watch on youtube with ads yeah because i went to the for free, free. With ad youtube section and fred the movie was like number five so i don't know if they rank it by the numbers or what but yeah no people kept tweeting me about randomly about fred the movie like this a large amount of people like messaging me and stuff and i was like what is going on but yeah i guess that's because you can watch it for free so there's just an ad every like 10 minutes or something i guess i don't know that's crazy it was on netflix now it's on youtube so jacob wanted to have his barbara walters moment oh yeah i'm actually gonna interview him so like just like there's not gonna be music in the background but his picture like like, like what are, music, what are the like, questions like it's gonna be like deep like getting to the juice like the bribery the the um yeah the we're, corruption we're gonna talk about like like loyals. the behind the scenes drama yeah like scandals all that stuff so, yeah everything that you didn't know so that like happens I, on the set <laughs> of fred <laughs> the movie i just wrote down like a bunch of questions that like like i might know the answer to but like and then i tried to Look at your guys' emails and, like, comments of the YouTube videos. See, like, what you guys had questions about. So, just, just I just wrote on a bunch of questions about Fudd the movie. Oh, my God. So, this is the start of the Bob Wow Oh, my God. Everyone wants to know. Zo, zo, zo. Okay. Um, welcome, Lucas Cookshank, to the stage. Hey! When was this movie made? When was it? <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, 2009. Oh, so 10 years, basically. Yeah. Basically. Okay, so I'll just start asking questions, okay? Are you ready? I'm so nervous. Do, do, do. Okay, um, the first question. This is one that I actually just came up with. What was your first reaction? <laughs> I've like went to J14 interview and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> okay, you should try to make this. Instead of Barbara Walters, it should be like Teeny Bopper oh, Magazine. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> What was your first reaction when you realized that you will finna have a movie? So like that was finna have a movie. Yeah, I put finna. But like, what? Like, like, did they just whoever? Like, did you? Did you give like what? Ha like, what was your reaction? I guess. Um. Basically, I it was my um. I like no one came to me and was like, let's do a movie. Like I had to search out for it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Like, like me and mom would go to LA and like take meetings with people and like try to find the right person to do it. With. Oh, <laughs> I didn't we know it wanted... like that. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what people, people, I don't know if this is the case for other people from online or whatever. People always say like, oh, they were handed all this stuff. But like you actually have, no one just gives it to you. You have to, you have to pretty much ask for it. Oh yeah. So basically like, it's like saying like, oh, like I want to be like a record selling single, yeah. but you need to actually do it. Like you can't, it's not like, like oh, I, it's not like I had the Fred videos and then someone signed me to a talent agency and then they were like, okay, let's give you a movie and a show. Like you had, you had, I had to like say I wanted that and then like push them on it to do. Yeah, that's and stuff. Some, that's something that is really interesting because like I feel like when everyone pitches it, you just picture like oh, like they just gave you a movie. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, there were certain things though that like I didn't eat at. like the Fred joke book for example. Like I didn't. I think they just came up with that one. Oh, yeah, for March. Yeah, but, like, some stuff I wish I could say I didn't come up with, but I did. Like, the Fred what? albums. Oh, you did come up with that? <laughs> like, it was my idea to do Fred music. Oh, that's nobody funny. Was, nobody was begging for Fred music. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just, um... <laughs> but, like, now... But the, the good thing is I can say, like, oh, yeah, I didn't even want to do that. Someone else just, you know, accidentally signed because a contract. Because that's what people assume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, basically, my mom and I would go to L.A. and take meetings with people. And most people, like, weren't... It was, like, obviously really hard to sell because they were, like... This is a three minute, these are three minute videos. Like, who's gonna wanna watch a full movie? But luckily, we scammed into getting it done. You scammed your way to the top. <laughs> yeah, we got that. We got someone convinced to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it worked then? Yeah. How long did that take? I think it was like low key years. For real? Like, like, like years, years of wanting something? to do it, but then like, I don't know. Oh, I think it like took a while because like like I said, a lot of people were like, "Who would want to watch a full length movie of this?" Oh yeah, because what I remember, I don't remember that, but I re but I remember like like the show Marvin Marvin that you did. Weren't you talking about that for like three years? Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah, because I just remember that for some reason. Yeah. Okay, the next question. Um. Um. What age were you? Um, I think I was fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, in the middle of Miami. 15 in the middle of Miami. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is this is probably a question that people are wondering. 
Um, so like the question is how long did it take to film? So hours and then like how long did it take like three weeks? And then I was like, were you so busy the whole time? Like, I think did... it was like four weeks. They kind of rushed it. Like most movies are like three months, but like this is like, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, I kind of low yeah. budget. <laughs> <laughs> so we just did it fast. And also I, since I was a minor, I didn't have to work that much. I think it was just like eight hours. Oh, for real? But then like also like two, like three hours I of school. About that. Because don't minors can't work as much. Yeah, right? I forgot the exact amount, but I think it's like eight to nine hours as much you can, the most you can work. And you did school. Uh-huh. Well, like, I thought you just, like, went back for school. That's what I thought. But Wait, you, what do you mean? But you did school? Uh, yeah, in between filming, I had to go into school. Oh, so was it the school in Nebraska that they sent you work, or was it school, like... Yeah, my teachers had to send me homework. Oh. Some of them were so pissed. For real? Yeah, they were, like, they were just oh, so, so annoyed. Like, I remember, like, one of my teachers literally said, like, I just really hope this all ends for you soon, because it's so annoying having to send you all this work and stuff. <laughs> and they're like, you have to just focus on school. Oh, yeah, because that does that, because it's extra work for them. Yeah. Okay, so that's how that worked. Yep. Okay, so um, another question. Who was your, since you were 15, who, like, was your guardian? Oh, we would, um... S- um, they would all, all the adults in our family would switch. Mom oh, would come just, out for a week. Grandma would come out for a week. Older sisters who were above 18 would come out for a week. And then you just, they switch. would just all switch a week at a time. Oh, okay. So that's how that worked. Um, oh, so this was another question. I feel like this is a question that I, like the, the people are wondering. <laughs> oh so, my like, God. What is who it? Who was Fred's mom? Like, how did you get that character? Because our <gasps> mom isn't like that. Oh, yeah. I always felt yeah. bad for mom because everyone always assumed like it was based on her being an alcoholic or something. I don't even know oh, how I yeah. came up with that. I don't know. I was just like 12 years old. It is funny. because when I, I think at 12 years old, you just think alcoholism is funny. When I was on Wikipedia, <laughs> like, I don't know if you ever said this, but I said that Fred's mom is like an alcoholic prosti- ex-prostitute. I don't know if you ever said she was an ex-prostitute, but I remember looking like when I was doing this and it Come said on, maybe I did. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of it, like, I forgot how I come up with it because also, like, sometimes when I would do interviews, people would tell me things. I mean, there was certain times where, like, people would kind of come up with the answers with me that sounded better than the actual truth. Oh, yeah, because did Like, you... for example, saying that, like, the, I remember I said, would, would say, like, Fred is um, based on my little brothers, which just isn't true. Oh, yeah. And then did, did you, like, I feel like someone else came up with this, that Fred's like a five-year-old. Did you just come up or something like that, didn't uh, it? I think it, he was supposed to be six. Oh, he was. And then just randomly in the movies, he was in high school. Uh, it really so. made no sense. <laughs> That's so weird that like it's kind of adult and not adult. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like how it's like prostitutes and stuff. Except that didn't really have Just good old 12-year-old humor, you know? Okay, the best question. Everyone's wondering. Oh, my God. Did you and John Cena have sex? I'm joking. It's just John okay, Cena. Okay, we did. <laughs> just John <laughs> Cena. Like, there's no question, but just John Cena. Oh, my Cena. God. He was so nice. Did I think he... I've said this so many times on the podcast, but he, <laughs> he allowed me to eat McDonald's. I've had this so many times. That's what I was just going to mention. But he was That's so a... nice. He was? Yeah, he was just, like, kind of, like, shy and stuff. Was this one of the first acting things he did? Because he's, like, acting all over um, the place now, but... It was definitely before he was, like, an actual movie star. Yeah, because now he does, like, a bunch of movies. I know. So he was nice? Yeah. Oh yeah. So who did that whole thing where like they made up a fake quote of like John Cena in the movie saying like I wish I would have ejaculated in your mom's anus or something. Oh yeah, I don't know. Just someone did that as a joke. Yeah, well, that's you, another question. I guess that was like a people sent me that where if you Google Fred the movie quotes, that's a quote him saying like I wish I would have. What was it? Oh yeah, like I wish I would have ejaculated it, ejaculated in your mom's <laughs> anus. So like it just was. Yeah. That was a deleted scene. Rotten Tomatoes. It was on Rotten Tomatoes, so I don't know if anyone... Oh my God, someone can... scammed the system. I know, someone made an account That's and made funny. up that it said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, how do you pick the actors? Oh, we um just auditioned. So were you in that? Like, were you... Yeah, it was actually so much fun. Like, I... It was like, um, you know, like in movies, like High School Musical, where, like, they do the audition scenes? Oh, yeah. But it was so... I remember, like, I thought it was so cool, especially, too, because it was, like, people from the Disney Channel auditioning, and I was like, this is so cool. Oh, was, like, Alison Stone over there? <laughs> no, I wish. It, was, it wasn't people as... It was, like, um... Did you ever watch the show Jonas? <laughs> it was oh, like a I girl from a Jonas audition. Both of the girls from Jonas audition. Then someone from So Random, Sunny with a Chance oh, auditioned. So Random, Sunny with... Like So Random, the Nickelodeon show? Was it a Disney show? Demi oh, show? Oh. The So Random show, wasn't that Disney? But you're talking about Sunny with a Chance, right? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah was it the same show? 
Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was Sonny's a chance, and then she, after she like beat up that girl, they turned it to so random. Oh, well, what happened with like them copying you or something? I just thought about that. Oh, it wasn't even copying. Was they it had not? the same producer as Fred the show. Oh, so someone just I just you know what hand producer, somewhere. yeah. Uh, oh, that makes sense completely now why all those people auditioned because it was the same producer. Oh, so they so I guess about you guys it. like got the same people. This is the question that the public is wondering. Oh my god! Did your voice hurt? Yeah, it actually really not in the movie so much because it was just like. It was like, it was just four weeks, you know? But when I did the Fred the show, it actually got to the point where I had to see a throat doctor at one point. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because like, it just oh, hurt I mean, so bad. And that. they like they said I was going to develop those nods. The nods. Is that what? I think it's called nod, nods. It's like what, um, like if you have, if you have, get it, you get surgery and then like, can like ruin your whole voice. Uh, but yeah, they tried to teach me how to scream without hurting my throat, but it was too hard. So you were screaming the whole time? And yeah. Was, uh, was the, wasn't like the voice different in that? Like they did, it wasn't at, like it wasn't as like sped up as the YouTube videos. So yeah, was I think it? they made it slightly less annoying for the movies because they didn't want to make it that annoying for the whole movie. How did they? How did they not speed you up but speed your voice up? I just thought about that. Or was that? I don't not think. How it works? I think the movie at Loki was just my voice. Yeah, and then maybe just a little bit of a pitch difference. Yeah, I'm not sure. I honestly think that I it was just my voice because it was just basically me talking in that weird voice. Yeah, doing. I think I honestly don't know. Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't edit it. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had to edit the whole thing? That'd be so funny. <laughs> okay, so um, um, this is just a question that I came up with. Oh my god! So how do you feel on set? So like, did you feel like a movie? So like, like I thought like, it was like, so cool. I'm like doing like I literally had moves. so much fun. Like especially during the first movie, like it was just a blast. Like I was like, oh my, I can't believe this is happening. Like I felt like it was just so cool. Yeah, because like you like didn't. I was really like, I can't believe. That. Yeah. Yeah. The whole time I was just like, wow. After, <laughs> after this comes out, it's gonna be red carpets, Oscars, <laughs> Golden Globes, <laughs> Grammys for the albums. <laughs> yeah, that was the question that I came up with because like, because if I like, if like, if like I had my own movie, I, like I'd for sure like, like. Oh, yeah, I like, thought it was just, so like, much fun. Just feel like it's, I'm a movie style for like. And when it comes out, just be like, oh my gosh, I have a movie. Yeah, it's like a blast being on set of anything. It just feels like it's school. Like it, it's like a school play where just like everyone's just, just like a fun vibe doing stuff like that. Yeah. All these creatives together. Yeah. <laughs> People smoking weed in the dressing rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Was there? Oh, yeah, I think Kevin did. Oh, Kevin from the movie. Yeah, I remember like, um,. I was never invited. I don't probably because I was a minor. But I remember hearing that like <laughs> after work, like pe- the some of the hairdressers and stuff would go smoke weed in his trailer and stuff. <laughs> Wait, did we ever talk about this? One's just like a kind of a dumb story, but the burrito incident. Wait, burrito. We we they put makeup on with the oh. burrito. I feel like we might have talked about this, so you might be annoyed by oh, this yeah. story. Oh, and they put makeup on me. Like it would smell like burrito sometimes because she'd be eating a burrito while doing my makeup. I'm like, I wonder why I have so much acne on my face because like someone's doing a burrito makeup on me. I know, literally eating a burrito while doing your makeup. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. So so like, what's the point of a trailer? Just oh, it's just so you hang enough. out during it. So like when you're when it's not your turn. Um, yeah. Did you ever have to go poop when they said your name? Wait, did I? No, I don't think I did. Oh, okay. I think I would, like, hold that in all day to not, like, interrupt the flow, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, next question. Do, do, do. Um, oh, this is a good question. Um, what was your fave movie to film? Oh my god! Probably the first one I'm guessing, right? Yeah, probably just the first one because it was like the first time ever and like so excited. Yeah, this is actually a comment on the YouTube <laughs> podcast YouTube channel. It doesn't have to do with Fred the movie, but they wanted to know how did the Fred and Annoying Orange collab ha- happen? They just wanted to know. The orange said that. flew to Nebraska and we filmed it. For real? Private? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it was um a digital collab. Obviously, yeah, because it's, it's not a person. <laughs> but like we went, we went, we filmed it at Joe and Al's in Columbus, Nebraska, I know, which so has funny. since been shut down. I think I remember like, the iconic happening. Columbus, Nebraska grocery store. Did you like tell them that you're gonna film there? Or, like, yeah, they just there? everyone, everyone in Columbus, Nebraska was down for us to film. We filmed at the movie theater. Like everyone was just so excited, being like, "Oh yeah, of course you can film." That's so cool. And but, then, um, they just you know, we, we filmed it. just. They didn't even like close the store or anything. We just filmed while the store was open. Wasn't there like people shopping? Because I think I yeah, because like while people reason. were shopping, we asked them to be in the video and stuff. Yeah, uh, we just used a random orange, and then the annoying orange got on there. And then they edited it or whatever. Yeah, and then we did a yeah. Oh, okay. the annoying orange! Oh my god, <laughs> an icon, a legend. 
<laughs> Wait, so did you upload like flood videos like once a month? Um, I think I low-key did seasons for some reason, trying to be bougie. Oh, like a show kind of? <laughs> yeah, had, like season one, <laughs> season two. <laughs> That's funny. So you had like breaks kind of? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, this was, um, uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, Barbara, um, Barbara Walters would never. I know. Can you pitch? Can like, you imagine is... Barbara Walters? In, no. After interviewing someone, like some emotional interview, and she's like, okay, next question. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> no, no. This is what, like, this is what happens during the cut to the bubble. Oh, I bet you it does. They don't keep it in, but like, it's told me, like, what question should I ask next? <laughs> okay. Um, let's just do like all the questions. Might as well. How um, many more are there? Like seven. Oh, okay. well, there's speeds. Okay. Speed round. How was the cast? Fun. I loved it. The no mean people. Let me think. Was there anyone <laughs> no mean? mean people? No, like honestly, to be honest, and I, I didn't become like amazing friends with anyone because we were so busy like working. Like, it, but we all like got along so well. There was no drama at all. Oh yeah, because like there's always people saying like like there's always stories about people being in drama. Yeah, and stuff, but I think I gravitated towards um my um um jesse my, who's like still one of my good friends today he was like my oh, yeah, he was my double friends. in the movie it's like he was the person since i was a minor when i was doing school like they would film him doing stuff from like just yeah, they wouldn't yeah. show his face uh, like so for any scene that didn't show my face like he would do it because i since i was a minor and i couldn't work that long yeah so i would hang out with him most of the time because also most of the time it was just me filming i feel like oh yeah but like the girl who played judy picks you out like i still talk to her sometimes the kevin person he actually messaged me um two weeks ago what saying dude? that he wanted to be in one of the youtube videos you guys should do a video i know i'm going to you pixie and kevin because like when oh, you my, guys are be... all in la like, oh yeah you guys need to do that so yeah I've, we i have everyone in the cast was so nice that's good. There was no drama. There was never anyone mean. I wish there was like behind the scenes, like this person was so rude. Oh yeah. It's like that, that would be the title of the podcast. Yeah. But un unfortunately, like everyone was, nice. I remember it was the same thing when I was on, um, when I guest started in Hannah Montana, like when I went back to school, everyone was like, was anyone mean? Was Miley mean? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't have any juicy thing to say. Cause like <laughs> everyone that I've ever worked with has been so nice. There wasn't any. I never yatches. worked with like anyone so mean. Oh, yeah. That, that's good. Which, though. by the way, after this, we have an Ellen DeGeneres game. Oh, because yeah. for some reason, everyone's. Ellen's going through a moment where everyone's like saying she's so mean. Okay, so like two months ago, I remember seeing like a couple of tweets about it, but now there's like this very popular thread on Twitter about like. So people I'm going to. I'm going to. After Jacob's done with this, I'm going to do a game with Jacob where I tell him mean things Ellen's done and he has to guess if it's real or fake. Because oh, I went okay, through the Twitter yeah. thread and wrote down something that I also made up some. Oh, okay. I'm actually ready for this. So, like, hey, I want to, like, know if I, like, if I think it's real or not. Oh, yeah. How mean is she if she is mean? Okay. So, this one that I actually came up with. So, like, so, like, were you scared to act? Like, did you do. You didn't do acting classes, right? Before that? No. Did you? I didn't. So, like, did, like, the director or producer or whoever, like, give you um, tips or anything? Or, like, what? Oh, yeah. Like, especially the first movie director, he was, like, intense in he a was, good way. Like, so hardcore with, like, telling me what to do. Oh, it's so, like it was, like, perfect. Yeah, he was just, like, so intense about it. And, like, we did, like, rehearsal before and stuff. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny taking the Fred movies so seriously. <laughs> but um, I was so scared, like, the first day. But then you just get used to it. Oh, yeah. Because it's... Yeah. Just, yeah. I can understand. Okay. Um... Um. Oh, this is the same one as the other one, but I just put it in a different form. It's um. You know, I asked, did you feel so cool when you had a movie? This one is just, did you feel like a bad bitch when you hit a million subscribers? Um, I'm trying to or, like, think. I think really I did, but I also think it like stressed me out. Oh, because so many people were watching you. Yeah, so like I was so excited and obviously thankful, but at the same time, it just like stressed me out. Like, so I I liked it, but I also didn't like it. Oh, because what you like the first person, so that would be kind of stressful. Yeah, and then it was always just so stressful because, like, I don't know, I just felt like, oh, now, like, then when I would film videos, like, it didn't feel the same because I feel like so much pressure. Oh. Uh, so I started just, like, getting in my head about it, being scared, you know? Yeah, like, thinking about And also, about like, back then, they would, YouTube had a ranking of people. <laughs> like, they would say, like, number one most subscribed. They don't have that anymore, oh. but you would see, like, on the trending page, you'd see, like, who the number, like, you'd see the rankings. So then, like, the people who are in second place would, like, try to fight you and be like, okay, we're all going to unsubscribe to Fred, so you win. And, like, it just felt like this battle, and it would just, like, stress me out. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, because if you hit a million, if you, like, were the most subscribed, like, it, I guess you could do, it would be kind of be like that right now, but back then, like, would it 
didn't it probably feel even more like a competition? Yeah. Because, like, if they had him So I think it low-key just stressed me out. Like, I, obviously, I was, like I said, thankful. But at the same time, I think it just, like... Yeah, kind of Like, stressful. just, like, stressed me and made it not as fun. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, so, okay, let's just do two more. Um, the two last ones are... Were there any scandals happening during those days? Like, with you? Like, was there with any me? Other, was there any other scandal? Like, I, I don't know. I just thought about that. I'm trying to think. Oh, is that now? I remember. Like, did you ever have to address anything over Twitter or something? Oh, my God. I'm trying to think. Was there ever? I don't think I've ever. Heard... Maybe I just don't remember, but I don't think so. Oh, okay. Like, did I ever good. have a thing where I do apologize? Because I don't remember it, but maybe you did. Maybe. There was never, like, any public scandals. It was just, like, when I started working with Nickelodeon, they would tell me to delete stuff. Like, I remember one time I made a Fred movie, a Fred video that had, like, a herpes joke in it, and they said, oh, you have to delete this, or else, like, everything will get can't Like... I think the producer of the Fred movie said, like, you have to delete this or, like, we aren't going to be able to... S- no one's going to want to buy these movies and think it's too inappropriate and stuff. Oh, so you're just going to do, like, Or, like, when jokes. I did the video with Shane Dawson, the Shanae video, I remember, like, Nickelodeon was so mad. Oh, was that after Fred, though? Yeah, that was, like, during the Marvin Marvin. Oh, but they were mad because, yeah. Yeah, they were just like, you should have told us you were doing this and stuff. And Oh. Um, the last one, interviews. So, like, will they act what's so like this? I guess you could say this is an interview, but this really isn't. But, like, will they, will they act what? Like, what I don't think like? so. I like think just, I actually just enjoyed it because I was like, this is so cool being interviewed. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Just an attention whore 15 year old. <laughs> Should we ask more? I just have like, oh, a few good. more. Yeah, because it's kind of just like, uh, over so, it. Yeah, there isn't really anymore okay so we're oh, moving we on to everything that. about it now we're moving on to the ellen degeneres game i'm actually very sad like for these ellen stories have came out for a while people saying she's actually so mean i always just like kind of ignore it because i'm like i don't want to think ellen's mean you know what yeah, i mean because i feel like when you think of ellen if she is mean but dory yeah you just think about like <laughs> this like happy person this dory fish pa- yeah keep on positive. swimming keep on swimming lgbtq icon but Allegedly, she people say behind the scenes. So even if this I is still not real, like, I'm still hoping it's not real. Yeah, because I read them, some of them, and like they are like pretty bad, like just like doing mean <laughs> things that just like are obviously mean. But like if they are, like I still feel bad for because this is a hate chain. Yeah, so Nikki Tutorials, actually, I think she's the one who, like, reignited this because Nikki Tutorials, she's a, that YouTuber who, she got, like, exposed for being transgender. Yeah. So she had to come out, like against her will i guess because someone exposed it and then she went on ellen and then she went back to the netherlands where she lives and she was speaking in another in the netherlands language yeah (laughs) i don't know what language that is (laughs) i don't either (laughs) but um and people translated the interview and i guess she basically said like oh yeah it was ellen was pretty cold and um like it was nothing like she expected and like she didn't talk to her before and stuff oh yeah and the thing about it is that they put quotes in it in it and it kind of did feel like this is just making an assumption, but it kind of did feel like she wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't gonna like fully say everything that like if there was something another something that, something that she thought was rude, she didn't so want to expose. Was her she fully. basically just mad because Ellen didn't say hi before the interview? And I guess like she just was really distant and stuff. Yeah. But and it looked Which like she I wanted to say that. No. Why she'd be mad, especially for a thing like Nikki tutorials, because that's like it was about her being transgender, being outed against her will. Like that's kind of emotional. So like I would expect yeah. Ellen to go say hi, but. Um, I don't, I think a lot of people don't say hi before because when I was on the Tyra Banks show, <laughs> Tyra didn't say hi to me before. So then again, yeah. I, I wasn't doing an emotional interview about being outed. Yeah. Cause I guess like, but like, Nikki I just, I just assumed Ellen. that, um, oh yeah, yeah. that's, this is a way bigger, hers is like a, obviously emotional start to yeah. expect Alan to say hi before. Yeah. Like, I guess I just thought that like, like they would just go into the dressing room and say, Hey, what's up? But I guess like, if you're busy, you can't really do that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to get into these stories, and Jacob has to guess if they're real or fake. Okay. (laughs) First, um, oh, these are all from a Twitter thread, by the way. Okay, there's a Twitter thread of just people saying those stories, right? I feel bad because I don't remember the the Twitter thread name. Um, I think um, I'll find it. Oh, let me me look back in our text message. Yeah, because you send it to me. Let's see. Do Oh, it's Kevin T. Porter. He started this Twitter thread, and um, basically (laughs) he said that for every story that people send about Ellen being mean he's gonna donate two dollars to the LA food bank and then he posted that he was sending money like he sent screenshots yeah so I don't know how he somehow tied like this gossip thing into helping like (laughs) helping charities that's like honestly like 
like so like for this whole like uh, um like um coronavirus thing if you for some reason like wanted to like if you had drama you could say like I'm gonna start drama with this person, but every nice thing I'm gonna donate a dollar or something. So <laughs> yeah. that you can like be say whatever, but then so a help. lot of people replied to the Ellen thing and a lot of them were verified and like worked in the business, so they were you could tell they were kinda true. Yeah, that's what I was um weirded out by because when I was pitching this, I was pitching just random people so you didn't yeah. know, but there was like a bunch of verified. Did you see people. that some people tried to turn it though? Yeah. They said, Let's talk is... about things positive that she did. Yeah, I saw it. there was a few tweets like that. But um we're just going to focus on the negative for this game. <laughs> Again, this is all alleged. I, just like you, I hope Ellen is an angel. And I still, you know, I still have hope that she's just Dory, a Dory fish swimming around. Yeah. So I don't know if this did start it. Also, but people have bad moods sometimes, we have to remember. Yeah. Like, so here's the thing is that what if she works for 200 days out of the 365 days of a year? And, <laughs> and 100 of the days she's she's just kind of in a bad mood like, yeah that's kind of that's okay maybe she's one of those people who like someday she wakes up on the right side of the bed someday she's just like i'm gonna be mad yeah so i don't know if like this doubted it but did you see that interview i don't know who the person was dakota that, johnson from 50 shades of gray yes yeah, like she had this interview where like she basically cowed ellen out by saying like you were invited to my party but you just didn't come and I, I don't know if that started it, oh, but that I think was like that a was big one. Deal. And also, she took a photo with George W. Bush, which people were mad about. Oh yeah, that was okay. Thing. So first alleged story you have to guess is this true or false? Okay, meaning that did someone post it on Twitter or not? <laughs> it, might, it might even it might have been posted on Twitter and also be false. Yeah, so is it? We she don't know. Might maybe true or completely false? Okay, Ellen ripped a fart in a workout class and blamed it on someone else. And, like, went as far to, like, be, like, she farted, and then people were, like, who did that? And she was, like, he did it. And, like, she wasn't laughing at all and was, like, it, I didn't do it. And everyone knew she did it. This though. one I don't even think is that mean. But, um, <laughs> to be honest, I think it's fake. This one was written on the thing. It was? But, like, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but someone did reply. <laughs> so, the thing is, is that with this one, like, okay, this obviously also, is like, a no mean no one move. knows who the fart came from. What if yeah. it didn't come from her? <laughs> but then, also, like, if it did come from her... I'm not gonna, I'm not like a pathological liar, but I do understand. Yeah, lying I about farts, understand. like it's not like she lied about some intense thing. Everyone's lied about a fart here and there. Yeah, wait, this is, I, that's so random. Okay, anyway, next up. Okay. She beat up someone at a restaurant and shoved their face in soup. This is such a fucking lie. This one was posted on Twitter. <laughs> No, Wait. but but it. No, I, but, but, <laughs> they'd be dead, right? No, but everyone. I'm pretty sure the person who wrote it is a joke. But um, <laughs> that's, somebody, that's the thing about these Twitter threads. People start replying jokes. I just, but it literally said they were at a restaurant. Someone, I forgot what happened. Someone somehow shoved her something on accident. Yeah. And she shoved their face on boiling hot soup. And then they said they were second degree burns. Okay. <laughs> this okay. didn't happen. That would be everywhere. When you, when you said this, I was like, okay, like, like, can you at least kind of make it like not obvious? Like, cause I was like, that's obviously fake. Yeah. But, okay. If this is true, I don't get how I'm pretty it sure this was, I'm pretty sure the person was being sarcastic on Twitter. <laughs> that's the thing is, wait, was this person not verified? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure like people were writing back and like, oh, well, this is so funny. <laughs> but, yeah, because that has to be done. Because like putting, putting to a thing of boiling soup, like, <laughs> that just like behaves. Can you imagine? Ellen bad. thinks she's that much of a badass. She can just run around like giving people burns and just like, getting away scot-free. I think like that's like a killer type thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, know, I don't just... know if she's that far. <laughs> okay, is this true? <laughs> um, yeah. Someone said good afternoon to Ellen. She said, good afternoon. And she freaked out and said, don't speak to me. Do you know who I am? I'm so busy. And like freaked out. Unhinged. Okay. Um, this one's true. Yeah, this was this was tweeted. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, so it's allegedly let's like, true. Let's also dive into it. So this one, I'm going to let her off if this is true because, th okay, she shouldn't have gotten that far if whatever happened is true, but I'm going to let her off just because, like, what if there was, like, a bunch of people talking to her and, like, she didn't know what to say or something. Also, it's not that hard to say good afternoon. Yeah, it's like it is kind of a bad move. Yeah. You're going to let her off the hook? <laughs> you want to get on Ellen that bad. Get off I her. I know. I want to be funny that bad. Get off her dick. <laughs> no, there were a lot of people saying that she doesn't allow eye contact, which I just feel like this is such, like, a thing in, in L.A. that I thought was a joke. I didn't know there was actually people who didn't allow eye contact. Yeah, because, like, same with the good afternoon one, like, what what that reminds me of and the eye contact reminds me of, it reminds me of, like, 
when like if 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 you became famous and you have the biggest ego, it's like yeah. Why? It just reminds me of olden times Hollywood. Because like you nowadays people, people can't now. do that shit. Like new actors and stuff. Like if they did that, it's just on Twitter the next day. Yeah, because if I was but in like the nineties and eighties, I feel like maybe celebrities were just assholes. Yeah, like I, I feel like over time, like um, so with social media and stuff, they've got they for sure got a nice. But I feel like maybe back then they were actual dicks. Yeah. Some of them at least, maybe. But, not. Um, yeah, because apparently, allegedly, according to this Twitter thread, she doesn't allow people to look at her. But, like, what would be the reasoning for that? I feel like literally just... Just to, just to show real, your... So, 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 like, just to show your seniority? Yeah, I literally ju- just to be, like, I'm the one who owns, like, this whole thing. Or I so. could feel like... I could also see she'd have some weird spiritual thing where she's, like, when people look at you in the eyes, it takes your energy and, like, I need to keep my energy for the show or something. Oh, yeah. Or like some could... weird thing where, like... She somehow justifies it with some weird spiritual thing. I didn't think about this. So, so I have to go pee so bad. I don't know if we should take a break. I need to go pee too. Oh, we might have to take a break. Should we? Yeah, we never have done this, but like it's gotten to a level where I don't want to end the podcast yet, and I have to go pee so bad. Okay, we've peed. I feel so much better. I know. Finally, I can just relax. Oh yeah. So I want to talk about <laughs> the whole like eye contact thing. So I didn't think about it, but obviously that's mean. But then I didn't think about there's some like people that have like theories. So like like random theories so maybe just like you said she is one of those people that is like have you ever heard this if you look if someone if too many people talk to you it takes away your energy or something yeah, and like then she that could, she could pretend she's doing it for like to keep the show so good she's like i want to do give my complete energy to the ellen show and like everyone who i have to talk to on set is just going to make me more tired and i want to give all the energy to the audience yeah i could to see spread that. joy and love across the universe yeah and is it so maybe she's doing it for the better of all of us i know maybe she put the head in the boiling soup for maybe us. you have <laughs> to be mean to a few people to be for the greater good like yeah, for example so- say she's nice to everyone on set by the time they click record on the camera she's exhausted because she's Talk to Sarah in the crafting. She's talked to the <laughs> costume designer. She's talked to this person and she's given all of her energy away. And then for the show, she's not doing as good of a job. Yeah. So like she, she had to put that boiling, that face in the boiling. Yeah. Soup. So if you ever see any of us in public, don't even look at us. I know. Don't look at me and say good afternoon or fucking anything. JK, okay. Do whatever. Is this true? Ellen told the girl who played Juno that she would never make it. Um, this one I believe. It's fake. Oh, because the reason why, why, I, what would be the point? No. <laughs> Her just going up to Juno and saying, "You're never gonna Wait, make it." I was like, "How would she know this girl?" I didn't even think about that for some reason. That's so hilarious. <laughs> but like, what I was thinking of was like. Maybe they were at like a coffee shop, but oh, like, yeah. she was like, unfortunately, you're not going to make it. And it wasn't like that mean, but it was me. Okay. Is this true? People have to chew gum before talking to Ellen uh, because she has a very sensitive nose. Fake. It's true. Are you joking? Allegedly, according to Twitter, apparently she has a really sensitive nose. You can't eat fish on set. Because oh, that grosses that her out. One. And also, like, before you enter her office, there's, like, a, a gumball. There's a bowl full of gum, and you have to chew some gum because, like, if you go near her and you have bad breath, like, she'll freak. What? <laughs> and also, apparently, she sends people home if they smell bad because they have to tell them, telling them to shower. Oh, my gosh. That's, I, like, that one, I, I said it was fake because it sounds so ridiculous. I like, know. Chew this just gum. reminds me of, like, in, when I was a little kid and mom would say, like, oh, yeah. Because remember, like, there used to be, like, this, like, mini Coachella in Nebraska. What called like it? sweet stock it was like instead of woodstock it was sweet stock and they have like christina aguilera come like you in guys these boy went? bands i never went but my older sisters went but i remember mom said that, like she heard on the radio that they <laughs> stayed at the nicest hotel in omaha nebraska and like they asked for only red m&ms and like just reminds <laughs> me of that type of thing like so dumb like asking for only red m&ms like they all taste the same oh yeah like like there's so many random stories like that that just like that's just dumb. Yeah. Like, like just even like, for the you... sake of being annoying is why you're doing it. Yeah, like, the only reason you're doing that is because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this true? That she didn't let Josh Peck on her show back in the day because he hadn't lost the weight yet? Um, uh, I really need to think. I'm going to say it's fake. <laughs> it's fake. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's, that, <laughs> I was Because I feel like... That would have come out somewhere. <laughs> also, why would she care? I don't know. Maybe she thought, like, it's bad energy if you're on fat people or something. Okay. Is this true? She makes new comedy writers who work at Ellen kneel before her in front of the desk when they tell her, like, when they tell her ideas. This reminds me of, like, like a Donald Trump type thing. So I think it's fake. It's true. 
I'm kidding. That's fake. Oh, because I was going to be like, it reminds me of like some like sexual thing. A lot of people thing. on Twitter said that like she's mean to people who work for her, but I don't think that she's gone as far to make them kneel. Yeah, because I was... I was like, that sounds like, I just don't pitch. I, I can see her being mean, but yeah. nailing is another level. But I think also people, I don't know if any of these stories are true, but like in defense of Ellen, like once one person says a bad story, it seems like everyone starts making everything bad. Like for example, yeah. I was reading, the, the reason why I even found this because on Reddit, someone was talking about the Nikki tutorials thing. And then as I went down the thread, like it got to the point where people were saying it's so mean that she scares people. You know how she does that thing where oh, she pops out at people? Yeah. It's like, now we're going to say that's bad? That's, okay, so like, social media has so many pros, but that's one of the cons. Is that just like, like those hate trains. Like, I feel like if yeah. you're a huge celebrity and like, like one or two stories get out, people are going to start like looking at your past and be like, I know. So you did this thing in a video where like, you glanced at this guy word. So like, you must do that all the time. And you know, but... how, like also Ellen's comedy is sort of like, um, like she'll like make the person feel uncomfortable a little bit. Yeah. And then people are going into that saying like, she's such a horrible person. She likes watching people squirm and feel awkward. That's but like, just funny. there's so many comedians who do that. And yeah. it, it's funny. So it's just funny to watch awkward situations. Yeah, and plus it's probably out of So I don't get why everyone's spreading all this stuff and like doing podcast episodes about it. Because <laughs> it's just like dumb. <laughs> We're spreading the negativity. Who knows? Maybe she is. None of us have met her though, so none of us can say. Yeah, like, so what, I literally have no facts behind this, but I think Ellen's mean probably to some of her workers. Yeah. But she also is nice to people. But I, I do also, think she's mean to like some people. And I also think guessing. that she has the chance, since she could still change, you know? Maybe she'll read these Twitter threads and be like, Maybe I shouldn't make people chew. Maybe I shouldn't treat people bad, you know? Yeah, so just, if you do, ha, just like Alan, just be nice about it. Like, or just, she'll change, hopefully. Maybe she won't. But yeah, Nikki said it right. Like, um, so Nikki awkward said in like, a song. It's so awkward when bros of her hose blows up and we have to delete this to get on the Ellen show. I know. I mean, like, oh, I want to be in there. <laughs> or, or if she mentions it, she'll, so like, we'll, like, she'll, she'll mention it. So you guys, you guys did this and we won't even know that she knows about it. And then, like, we can just say, like, oh, yeah, we just wanted... We no, just, then we could turn, it, we could turn it, it on her and be like, oh, are you going to make us chew bubble gum? Oh, no, we can turn... Yeah, oh, yeah, we can make a joke about it. Yeah. We'll say, you didn't say hello to us, but Oh, remember fine. in the I'm workout class it. where you thought you didn't, no one would remember and you, someone, you farted and you blamed it on someone? Well, we're here to bring it up right now. <laughs> it would also be funny if there was evidence that she fouled it in her hand and rubbed it in someone's face. Like, <laughs> no, but someone that she didn't know. Like a random person on the street. Yeah, because people on their Reddit were saying like, yeah, it's so bad how like she would scare Taylor Swift and all those pranks. And then people were also saying like, yeah, if someone's good at pranks, like they're usually a bad person. It's like, I mean, what? to bring it this far? Like I understand, if you have a legitimate story, but like when you're just saying everything she did was mean now. Yeah, there's just like Nikki said it in a song. Like I said, like join the Nikki hate train. Come on, bitch. Nice try. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, so I don't know why you wanted to do this for this. Wasn't my idea. Why'd you bring I'm this joking. up? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, even if she is I a just bad person. Be, I just thought it'd be funny story to him because the stories were getting so ridiculous that I wanted to see if you would know which ones are real. The and putting one fake. face in the face, the putting the face in the soup one. <laughs> honestly, like. If that is really that sad, but like I just thought it's obviously a joke. But I thought it's it's hilarious thinking about like someone thinking they're that powerful that they can I do know. that. The reason why also the Ellen, I think the reason why these spread so quick about Ellen is because like you just wouldn't expect you just wouldn't expect any of this from her. Because like wasn't she like like I mean, people used to always say like oh yeah, she dances in the beginning of yeah she just like seemed like a happy go lucky you know yeah girl having fun having a blast wearing those khakis having a blast I know. Also, somebody emailed us that, um, tell me what's real and, um, take me to the coffee shop. Me and Jacob's iconic songs have been yeah. stuck in their head and they're annoyed. Oh, they are? Well, they said yeah. they're happy about it, but also annoyed. <gasps> We're good at airworms. Oh, but you have a new one. Do you want to share yeah, it or no? So, I'm going to share it because, like, all of these have possibilities of coming into a yeah. full-length two or three-minute song, but this is my new one. Yeah. So, I was looking outside and our mom was in a hot tub and I was like, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so... Wait, do I have my phone? I actually want to... I have, like, two different versions. So, like, you guys can choose which one sounds better. Eventually, me and Jacob are going to make a Bros of Her Ho song. Oh, yeah. Sometimes... I don't know. Just like we said, I don't know if it's going to be like the intro, but we have to do that sometime. Okay, so this is it. This is the first original one. G-Wagons and jacuzzis, smoking a bunch of doobies <laughs> in the back of Louie. So, um, Dewey's, I just put that in because it rhymed. But yeah, the it'd be Doobies. G, G Wagons so and Jacuzzis. Uh, G Wagons and Jacuzzis, that's like a bop. Honestly, I, I hope Tyga's not listening. Because just picture, 
Yeah, G wagon. Okay, so like, wagon and so what if it's like Doja Cat saying G wagons and jacuzzis, and then Tiger comes in like, oh, the G wagon. So plop, plop, plop in the jacuzzi, bitch. <laughs> oh yeah. Then this is the <laughs> when other you leave one. the water, you're gonna be pregnant because <laughs> there's cum in it. Just joking. <laughs> um, okay, this is the next one. This is the next version that Lucas oh, kind of helped two. with. Yeah. G wagons and jacuzzis, living like a movie. Custom seats are Gucci, juicy as a jolly. <laughs> <laughs> it was all good till juicy with a jolly. <laughs> juicy as a jolly, like as in juicy as a jolly man show. Oh. But yeah. Um, but how come no one's done that yet? Slurp it up. Slurp it up like a Jolly Rancher. Slurp it up. Slurp it up like a it Jolly Rancher. It's something spit filled in your mouth. Jolly Rancher in my mouth. <laughs> Watermelon flavor. But yeah, G-Wagons and jacuzzis. That's iconic. But then the music video would be like um, a, a jacuzzi slash hot tub in the above middle ground of the woods. One. Above uh, ground. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of an above ground one. Picture maybe even a blow up one, a blow up jacuzzi. <gasps> That'd be those ones on funnier. Amazon. <laughs> and then like in the middle of the woods, middle of the woods, no one's there. A campfire beside it, mm-hmm. and then a G wagon, matte black, big ass tires comes in, comes speeding, stops. Two girls in a bikini and like two guys, like they aren't dating. It can be gay guys or whatever. But then they come <laughs> out and like, and the guys are wearing like short, short swim chunks. That's and so funny if you actually, if you made this sexual song called G-Vines and Jacuzzi, and then like it gets traced back to how you thought of it was looking at your mom in a jacuzzi. Oh yeah, that, that like, the, it but, you know, inspiration comes from anywhere. Yeah, and then the music video is just them in the hot tub. A blow up hot tub, that adds oh, to it. Oh yes. Also, before we end, there's been some drama in the Reddit. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to talk about this. So I didn't, so I wasn't look. I didn't look at the email for a couple hours and then, Lucas sat, I thought it told was so me, funny. Someone sent this in-depth <laughs> email about how there's drama uh, in the Reddit. It just made me laugh so hard because I was when like, I read it how too, is there drama in the Reddit? I, I thought it was so funny when I read the so email. So there's is the Reddit Crookshank or Crookshank Brothers? What's it? Crookshank, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. So we had someone made a Reddit for us. They were nice enough to do that. They're also the moderator. Yeah. And somebody uh, we're not taking sides on this, by the way. We just think the whole situation is funny. I just think it's funny because when I, I, I just like <laughs> didn't picture this to happen. So that's yeah. why I think it's funny. We just funny. think it's funny to look at, but we aren't taking sides with either of the parties. Yeah. But someone emailed <laughs> us that. So I guess one of the rules in the Reddit is you have to stay on topic. And also you can't reveal any personal information about us. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so one of this... This girl who's in nursing school just wrote on there saying, like, I'm in nursing school, like, and I'm not in school anymore. We're doing it all from online because of the coronavirus. Like, how's everyone doing out there? And then people replied to them, are like, oh, yeah, we're doing good. Just, like, staying safe inside. Like, obviously, this is scary and stuff. Yeah. And I guess after four hours, it got deleted. And then um, <laughs> because, the, because it was off topic. And then she got all <laughs> mad and was like, we aren't even allowed to, like, ask other people how they're doing. Like, also, this should be a special exception. Yeah, and she emailed us about it. And then it. The, the moderator said, like, oh, yeah, unfortunately, like, it's still off topic. And it's still on against the rules. <laughs> and then um, the girl who wrote the corona thing said, well, you've broken your own rules, honey. By, because, <laughs> <laughs> because I guess one of the rules is not revealing personal information about us. And I guess she wrote about me and Matthew's anniversary, which is, I guess, the quote unquote personal info. <laughs> so that's just so funny that I just love how like our red is turning into a Bravo show. I know. Like, like the, the last thing I need, the next thing I need is like, we have text of it, but I need like videos now. I'm I joking. Know. Don't bring it to that level. <laughs> no, we, obviously, we want only love and happiness in the Reddit, but I just thought it was so funny. That there's drama. Yeah, I just didn't picture that to happen. Like, I, did, I just didn't picture like it to get that serious. <laughs> but yeah, I just want. I, I thought it was hilarious, and I saw. Yes, you know, I take both. I take both sides because the, the on one hand, the moderator's just trying to be like, I have to enforce these rules. Like, I'm sorry. Like, she's just trying to do it for the yeah. She's good. like, I'm the only moderator, by the way. This is a lot of work. I'm doing this for free yeah and i'm gonna follow my rules i made and then the, the nursing school is like i could see her side too of being like oh i was just simply asking how everyone was yeah you know like, what I mean? she's wanting to see what the bros before I was so i that. see both sides completely i actually do too because like they both have the sides and they uh, i understand both i'm not biased yeah but basically what we're saying is, is funny, once though. this corona thing is over like we might have to have an in-person reunion like real housewives type reunion Bring them both here. We're like me and you are Andy Cohen, and they're both on either side of us, and they just like fight it out, and we find out what the truth is, have a mediation session, and like we figure out like how can we come to 
an agreement where we're all happy. Yeah, so it's so it's gonna start out about the initial argument. Yeah. But then it's gonna go into like how are we gonna make both be full host community and the Reddit a better yeah. place for society. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Well, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Yeah, thank you very much. We talked about like everything. We dug everything. deep. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Stay at home. Um, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Yeah, just um, take your temperature. Yeah, and just try to enjoy life. Make Always. tacos. Yeah, I've been making talk. We've been making tacos a lot. Mm, in tacos this are so good. They're a great um quarantine meal. Yeah, pasta too. Oh, toast with peanut butter. Oh, good old classic. <laughs> All right, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. See you later.